All right, it's boy Houdini back with another one. And I want to tell y'all something that's very important. And I really want everybody to understand and kind of get the concept of this. But, um, you know, a lot of you guys right now working your jobs, whether it's something you get paid monthly on, you have a monthly salary or you get a minimum wage or, um, you know, an hourly salary where you get a check every week or every two weeks. You know, um, that's definitely something you want to have out here. I would honestly say it's almost impossible uh, to really survive out here without any type of like source of job income, like where you, whether you're getting a salary or a wage income um, week in, week out, you know, unless you're doing something illegal, you know, it really is impossible to uh, to survive out here without that. So um, it's definitely good to have that. But. Don't ever think that whatever you're doing at these jobs is something you're going to be doing long term. I mean, even if you have to do it a few years, that's still not something that's considered long term. Long term will be basically um, you start working that job and um, and you remember how your lifestyle was. And then all of a sudden, when you work in the job and you have a custom, a certain lifestyle based on that job, that's when you know you're, you're there long term or you're going to either be there or at another job for a very long time because you've accustomed the lifestyle based on the income and the and the expenses that you have from that job. So don't don't think that it's something that's gonna be long term. Like uh you, you definitely have to realize that um when you're there it's it's for a purpose and um and also don't think that everybody that's at the job is gonna be your friend like to where where they, they gonna understand whatever it is that you may be trying to do. And latch on with that and try to push you on to get to that point. Because, you know, as we all know, misery enjoys, enjoys company. So, um, you know, we, we all know that, you know, it don't, don't nobody really want to be out here in this situation, you know, that we all talking about. We want to escape from like at the end of the day, no black man really wants to be out here in this situation. So for the ones that we know that have gotten out of that, you know, we all know that they ain't finna really try to be, you know, helping nobody get out of it, get out of the, all the situation that is still in it. So they don't really care too much about the fact that you, you know, that you may be in there working that job and you still got to survive on ends meet and, you know, and, and that you never really going to get out of that situation. They, we know that they don't care. But one thing you got to realize too is that <clears throat> since you have the mindset of wanting to try to get out of that yourself, that somebody else that's not true, that doesn't have a plan of doing something independent that may have a bunch of kids and a bunch of responsibilities or whatever. And somebody that basically knows that they're going to be working at that job for a very long time may know that your idea might actually work and get you out of that. So, you know, they don't want to really see you get out of that situation because it's not like everybody out here really wants to be independent. What it really is, is that everybody wants to see each other kind of deal with the same misery. That's why I mentioned that term misery, because, I mean, we got to be honest, getting up every day, having to work the same job, eat the same food, drive the same type of vehicle, live the same monotonous lifestyle. I mean, it's miserable, bro. We all can admit that that shit is miserable as fuck. So anybody that's escaped that, they're basically free from that misery. So you can't tell me that somebody that's still in that misery will be looking at that person that's escaped from it as like, yeah, like, man, you know. They they basically, you know, are my inspiration and I want to strive to be them every day. They get up and deal with their circumstances. They have to realize that they still are in that misery. So they really only way they will really be satisfied is if that person was in it with them, because that way they will feel comfortable knowing that, hey, you know, it may be hard for me, but it's hard for somebody else as well, because they dealing with these same circumstances. So got to be very careful with that. That's why you have to do things now, you know, from from a, a, a very distant position, you know, for, for the guys out here who are trying to strive to, to be independent. You want to, you want to do things from a very distant position because, you know, if not I'm telling you, you know, it, it, this thing is like a virus, you know, this poverty mentality, it's like a, it's like a virus because once you in it and you all, that's all, you know, it's, you know, and that's all you've been able to survive off of. It's easy to get pulled right back into it. Even if you've actually got the glimpse of getting out of it. You can easily be sucked right back, back into it just for the mere fact that it's, it's way more people out here that's miserable than people out here that's happy and free. So because we live in a society and in a world where it's way more misery than it is freedom, it's just easy to be pulled and sucked right back into it. So I just want y'all to be, be very careful about this stuff, man, because 
It's very dangerous out here with this minimum wage mindset. And this is Scorpio and Sabat Universe and Houdini giving you another classic how you can sell to your independence.